us well. You've done great things in our lives. Oh, we lift your name high and high and high and high and high for the impossible things that you have done, for the wonders, for the miracles, for the transformation that you're doing in our lives. Somebody praise his name. Somebody worship his name. Somebody magnify his name. Somebody glorify his name. We praise your name. We praise your name, Abba Father. Shabbayande. We praise your name, O God. Rashabayande, Rabbi Sidi. Ari Tereshanda, Rabbayande. Some of you are in afternoon, some of you are tonight. But it's wonderful to connect with you this morning again as we get to the Word of God, uh, as we pray. Uh, one sister sent me a, a, a message early this morning saying, Good morning, Apostle. Thank you so much for praying for my son, Adrian. He's healed from lungs congestion and nose block. I give God the glory. We prayed for our son who had uh, problems with the, uh, the lungs, congestion, and the nose was blocked. And I believe she's on the online service this morning, Sister Solomon. And Solomon, God greatly bless you. Uh, we want to get to, and please share with us what the Lord is doing in your life, you know. Uh, your testimony glorifies God first and foremost. God does miracles in our lives because of two things. One, because he loves us. Two, because he deserves the glory. He wants to glorify himself. So share with us what the Lord is doing. So we are uh, continuing um, in our prayers this morning. And I want us to read from the book of First John, chapter 2, and uh, verse 27. The Bible says, But the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you. And you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it he has taught to you, shall abide in him. You know, we are looking, we are, uh, 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 our prayers, our prayer direction, yesterday and today, we are praying for another wave of the infilling of the Holy Spirit in our lives. That is our focus. That is our desire, the person of the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot have the anointing. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives us the anointing. 
The anointing is God's supernatural ability bestowed upon us to do what we are not able to do in our own ability. And that is given to us by the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Ghost comes upon us, He teaches. The anointing that He gives us teaches us everything. We read the Word of God, we are able to understand. We are able to get revelational knowledge because of the Holy Spirit. So we are going to pray for a fresh anointing. David is saying that thou anointest me with a fresh oil. That's why in Psalms chapter 51, David cried out to God, though he had sinned with Bethsaida, he said, remove not the Holy Spirit from me. You know? God is not going to remove away the Holy Spirit from you, but the Holy Spirit can be in you, but is grieved. Okay? Look at Romans chapter 1 and verse 4. The Bible says, and declared, Romans 1, 4, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. The Holy Ghost is also known as the spirit of holiness. The spirit of holiness is the one that raised up Christ from the dead. He is known as the spirit of resurrection. He is known as the spirit of power. But it's also known as the spirit of holiness. What does that mean? It means that without the person of the Holy Ghost, you cannot live a holy life. I can tell you, child of God. You cannot live a holy life. For you to live a holy life, you need the Holy Spirit. We don't live holy in our own ability. Forget about all these uh, religious ways of trying to achieve holiness. We live holy because of relating with the person of the Holy Spirit. He is a holy. So when he lives inside of us, he's going to lead us to holiness. He's going to lead us to truth. He's going to lead us to righteousness. The Holy Ghost. You know? And you know, without holiness, you cannot please God. Because the Bible says that, be you holy, for I'm also holy. What does holiness mean? Holiness means obeying everything that is written in the word of God. You can never do that in your own ability. And that's why in the Old Testament, the people in the Old Testament, they struggled so much. Of course, the Bible has 10 commandments. But out of those 10 commandments, there were 613 laws. You know, of things that you had to do and things that you never had to do. It was such a yoke that no man could be able to fulfill. But when the Holy Spirit is over your life and inside of your life, child of God is going to help you. He's going to help you. He's going to help you to fulfill everything that is written in the Word of God. So, we want to pray this morning for the Holy Spirit, more of Him in our lives. To anoint us with a fresh anointing. You need a fresh anointing. We come before your presence this morning. And we ask for a fresh oil. We ask for fresh anointing. We ask for fresh fire. We ask for fresh power. Holy Spirit, you give us the anointing and the anointing teaches us everything. The anointing teaches us the Bible. The anointing teaches us how to relate with the people. It's the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing stops the enemy from touching touching us the bible says that touch not my anointed ones the anointing is a protection over your life when you are anointed there are powers of darkness that cannot touch you because you are god's anointed touch not my anointed ones says the word of god Father, 
the anointing of the Holy Ghost is a shield, is a protector. It consecrates you. It sets you apart. Oh my God. What sets you apart? It's the anointing. God told Moses, consecrate Aaron. Ay, 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 ay. Set them apart by the anointing oil. It's the anointing that sets you apart. It separates you. It consecrates you. Oh my God. Shama Kataya. No seke brekataya. But no shama gadeza. Vare, 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 vare. Child of God, pray for that anointing oil over your life. No shama gadaya. You are set apart for special purposes. You are set apart for special assignments. You are consecrated. You are not ordinary. You are not ordinary by reason of the anointing oil. Ah, Roshama Gadaya, Pandeleve Setea, Roshama Gabo, Pandeleve Yandi, Rasha Talamagadola, Roshama Gadaya, Pandeleve Setea, Rosha Talamagadaya. Touch not my anointed one. Touch not my anointed one. If you are not anointed, people will touch you and nothing will happen to them. Demons will touch you and nothing will happen to them. But if you are anointed, Samagadea, Roshamagadaya, Pandelevisetea, 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 Pandelevisetea.
Oshata, Bayate, 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 Rosha <laughs> Masha Tanabagadosa, Rosa Keteri, Tema Capri Catosa, Santo Bosanda, Bacamo Sende, 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 Masha Tanabayade, Bayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
this morning by reason of the anointing oil God is passing judgment over powers of darkness that have been fighting against you because you are the Lord's anointed one child of God the anointing is so powerful I want you to raise up your hand and declare say Father in the name of Jesus I thank you this morning because I'm the Lord's anointed one by reason of the anointing oil that is upon my life by the person of the Holy Ghost so I declare every power of darkness broken from my life by the anointing no man shall rise against me and prevail I am the Lord's anointed let all my enemies fall open your mouth and pray come on the anointing is your protection the anointing is your consecration the anointing is your separation you don't play around with the Lord's anointed one. You are children are anointed. You are children are anointed. Yes. You are children are anointed. They are anointed. No witchcraft, no power of darkness, no power of the enemy shall prevail. Mashataya, they come to the city, and they never sit in, 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 and they never sit in. Those who wanted you to lose the job, they have been fighting against you. I declare they are going down. They are going down. You are going up. Those who have been bewitching you, the Simon the sorcerer that has been bewitching you, he has touched the live wire. He has touched the wrong person. Of the anointing oil, 
powers of darkness there is also a contention between the priesthood Goliath will not prevail against David by reason of the anointing oil Jezebel will not prevail against Elijah by reason of the anointing oil Simon the sorcerer will not prevail over your life by reason of the anointing oil Naaman will not prevail over Mordecai by reason of the anointing so we declare this morning every Naaman you know there are people at your place of work that are plotting against you they want you to lose your job they want your business to go down those are called in Ayamans. they are called they are called hamans haman is trying to plot against you but because you are anointed i decree and declare by reason of the anointing haman is coming now all the gallows that he has constructed for you Haman shall be hammered on his own gallows in the name of Jesus. Makose kebre kataya, mandosha maganaya, rema kataya. That Goliath that was standing in your family, remember, we are in a weak, a mountain moving week. We declare Goliath defeated in the mighty name of Jesus by reason of the anointing oil. Makosaka. So, Father, we command every giant to be defeated. Every giant that has been standing before you, let that giant be defeated by reason of the anointing oil. Every sickness, every yoke, every bondage. The Bible makes it clear in Isaiah 10, 7. And on that day, the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of the anointing. So, this morning, we declare every yoke destroyed from your life. Because the break at higher by reason of the anointing oil. People of God, let's continue to pray. I told you that the Holy Ghost causes us to move. You know, he, he, he causes holiness to be cultivated. Holiness is a cultivated. You are the Lord's vineyard. Just like the way you plant seed in a garden and you cultivate it. When the Holy Ghost comes upon your life, it doesn't matter how wicked you have, you, you, you have been. As you relate with him, he begins to cultivate holiness. He begins to cultivate purity. Father, let's pray. I want you to pray that the Holy Ghost will cultivate holiness, purity, integrity, the, 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 the fruit of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, 
Mando Shamagada, Bakabo Zandela, Bareke Rikata, Roshamagada, Holy Spirit, cultivate holiness, cultivate holiness in my inward parts, in my soul, in my soul, in my mind. Makosata, cultivate, 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 pure thoughts. Mashantala Mayade, Makabo City, Bandela City, Bandela City. Cultivate purity, 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 purity. It's the work of the Holy Ghost to cultivate love. Cultivate love. That's why it is called the fruit of the Spirit. Roshamagadaya, Rendeleva City. Cultivate peace, cultivate patience. That's the work of the Holy Ghost. The work of the Holy Ghost. Masha Taramayande, Bakamo Sete, Bandeleva Sete, Baramayande, 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 Shakaya Mayande, Bakamo Seke Brekataya, Bakamo Mataya, Cultivator, Cultivator, the love of God, the love for people, Holy Ghost, Cultivate, I am your garden, I am your vineyard, Cultivate it in my life, Samayande, Bakamo Seke Brekataya, Roshamagadaya, <laughs> Roshamagadaya, Bandele Vesetea, Bakabo Sekebre Kataya, Cultivate Gentleness, Cultivate, Oh my God, Roshama, 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 Bandele Seketea, Bayama Kataya, Bayama Kataya, Roshamagadaya, Let the Holy Ghost cultivate goodness in your life, Rema, 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 we shall no longer live in sin. We shall no longer live in wickedness. We shall no longer live in immorality. We shall no longer live in lust. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is cultivating. He is cultivating holiness. Our children shall not live in wickedness. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, child of God, the Bible says, by the fruit of the Spirit is love. We don't say love, love, love. No, it is the Holy Spirit that cultivates, you know, cultivates as he prunes you, as he removes all these uh, uh, works of the flesh. He's cultivating love. That's why a relationship with him is very powerful. He cultivates joy. May you receive the joy of the Lord this morning. May the Holy Ghost baptize you with the joy. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's the work of the Holy Ghost. And look at what it says. Peace, long-suffering, 
gentleness, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. There is no law. What does that mean? The Holy Spirit brings you to a dimension where the law of immorality cannot prevail over your life. The law of lust cannot prevail over your life. The law of poverty cannot prevail over your life. The law of curses, generational curses, iniquities, transgressions cannot prevail over your life because you are above. My God, I want you to declare this morning and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the presence of the Holy Ghost in my life that is cultivating the fruit of the Spirit. I am above the law. I declare the law of generational curses cannot operate in my life and in my children. We are above the law of iniquity, the law of transgression, the law of sicknesses, the law of poverty, the law of premature death is it broken. I am above in the name of Jesus. I declare I am far above sicknesses. Now, child of God, stir up that from that declaration. Come on, stir it up. Speak in tongues and stir it up. There is no law, there is no law against your life. There is no law of limitation against your life. You are above the law of the world. You are above natural laws, demonic laws. You are above. The law of the Spirit, the law of the Holy Ghost is higher than every other law. The Kasota, the law of joblessness cannot prevail over your life. The law of failure cannot prevail over your life. Oh my God. Hey, 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 in the name of Jesus the law cannot prevail you know the world has law there are unnatural laws natural laws say when you get to 50 years you cannot have a baby because you begin to enter into menopause that is a natural law there is a higher law it's the law of the Holy Ghost that means what? That law cannot work on you. It cannot work on you. The law of saying that when you enter 50 years, you are in monopause, I don't know, 53 years, so you cannot conceive. That's a natural law. The Bible says, those who are in the spirit, they are above the law. So child of God, I don't know what impossibility is facing your life. 
I don't know whether the doctors say that that cancer is going to take you to the grave. I bring you good news from the good news broadcasting station of heaven to declare to you that's the doctor's law. You can forget it. There is a higher law. It's the law of the kingdom of God. Somebody lift your hand and say, Holy Ghost, I love you. Come on, speak to him well and tell him, Holy Spirit, I love you. Holy Spirit, I love you. I love you, Holy Spirit. Listen, child of God, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit teaches us how to pray. In Romans chapter 8, verse 26 to 27, likewise the Spirit also helped our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. With groanings. Let me tell you, child of God, there is another dimension of prayer that is called the prayer of groaning. The prayer of groaning is so powerful. You know, you can pray so many words, oh Lord, do this, do this, do this, do this, and things are not working. But you know, one Holy Ghost inspired groan. It can just be like, ah, my goodness. It's a powerful language in the realm of the Spirit. The Bible says, when Jesus came to the grave of Lazarus, he didn't pray. He groaned. That was another dimension of prayer. He groaned in his spirit. The Holy Ghost helps our infirmities. You know, by groaning in us. My God. Son of God, certain things cannot be shifted by the prayer of understanding. Not even the prayer of praying in thanks. It is the prayer of groaning. Holy Spirit, ask the Holy Spirit this morning to teach you how to pray. We all don't know how to pray. <clears throat> that is an infirmity. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, our prayers are too shallow. Our prayers are not powerful. Shama kabo seke brekatai. Mando shama katara bazanda na wagarai. Rema kose ketea. This morning, may you teach us how to pray Makaya Magados teach your people how to pray for that sick child how to pray for that breakthrough how to pray for their nations how to pray for family deliverance open your mouth and pray ask the Holy Ghost to teach you how to pray Ask the Holy Ghost to teach you how to pray. Marosha Magadea, Bandesa Makatorobosendea, Bareka Brekataya, Randosha Magadaya. Holy Spirit, teach me how to pray. Marosha Magadeza, Bandesa Makataya, Rende de Besana Magadaya, Bakabo Seke Brekataya, Rosha Makatosa Magadaya. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Holy Ghost. Because you're giving us groans that cannot be uttered. You're giving us groans that cannot be uttered. In the name of Jesus. Finally, this is very important. The Bible says in Acts chapter 11 and verse 24, speaking about a man called Barnabas, the Bible says, for he was a good man and a fool of the Holy Ghost. He was a good man and a fool of the Holy Ghost and of faith and much people was added unto the Lord. What does that mean? Barnabas was a good man. What made him good? The Holy Ghost. But he was full of he was a man of faith. He was a man of faith. In other words, you can say that Barnabas had the gift of faith. Child of God, the Bible says 
faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God that's how faith comes who reveals to us the word of God it's the Holy Spirit who gives us the rhema word that raises up faith it's the Holy Ghost so the Holy Spirit without the Holy Ghost you cannot have faith without the Holy Ghost you cannot have the gift of faith those are the things that the Holy Spirit works inside of our lives you know when we say let's people pray about the Holy Ghost people just look at it as something that is you know some people are too shallow they are too myopic they look at it as something that is useless they would better pray for a job pray for a house pray for money because of lack of revelation you want your faith to go high you need a relationship with him because he's going to give you a rhema and when a rhema comes faith shoots when revelation or knowledge comes faith shoots it's not just listening to the word of God that is going to build your faith no it's the word that is revealed to you that builds up your faith because you can listen but you're not even understanding what is taking place so child of God let's pray this morning for the Holy Spirit to give us a rhema to give us revelation so that our faith can go up Father Lord in Jesus mighty name we need a rhema this morning I know you're going through a situation you need a personal rhema a personal rhema you need a rhema <coughs> you need a rhema ah, you need a rhema shama katoza magadaya to open that spiritual space you need a rema and Lord I release remas Holy Spirit give your people remas this morning in the name of Jesus Marosha Magadosa Bagadea Bagadaya Basia Makato Rabosanda Magadaya Arema for breakthrough Arema for your healing Arema for financial provision Arema for your promotion Arema for the next level Mashana Magadaya Remember the Lord gave us a Rema this week This is the week of moving mountains Marosha Magadaya that is a rema that is a rema that came from the lord i was in the presence of god on tuesday morning at four and the lord spoke to me and he said tell my people this is the week of moving mountains so i stand in that rema to declare mountains be moved mountains be uprooted mountains be cast down mountains melt Mountains melt, melt like wax. Sicknesses melt, impossibilities melt. Marosha magadesa, rekambo seketea. Let the lamps melt, the lamps of cancer. Let them melt. Let the financial mountain melt. Let the mountain of death melt. Makara mashana magadai, roseke terebe yandro bashanda. The Lord is telling me, there's somebody that is watching me. You run some properties and your properties because of the COVID situation, they went empty. You don't have tenants. The spirit of the Lord is bringing you tenants now in the name of Jesus. You are receiving tenants and they're going to pay you good money. It is happening quickly, 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 quickly. That mountain has been destroyed in the name of Jesus. Marosha Magadaya, Bande se kebre kataya. Marosha Magadaya, Rendo se kebre kataya. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you and we bless your name. We magnify your name. 
Rosha makataya, rendo seke break ataya. Thank the Lord for the rema that is releasing in your life. In the name of Jesus, child of God, by Sunday, that mountain has to be no more. Because the Lord said this week, not next week, He said this week, He said this week, and we are putting a demand on that one. Makosa Gadaya, Rema Shana Magadaya, Rekabose Kete, Baya Maya, Ya, 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 Rosha Maya, Ni, Bama Capri Catis, Makose Kete. Every mountain shall be removed. This mountain shall be removed. This mountain shall be removed. I must be raised along. Spirit, say 
That's the kingdom that we serve. God speaks and the words work. Whether you're in Australia, whether you're in Malaysia, whether you're in America, whether you're in Uganda, God speaks and the words work. Because the words that we speak here, they are spirit and they are life. Because they are given by the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. That's why, child of God, you have to court a relationship with him. He's so special. He's a darling. He's a wonder that the Spirit of God, that Jesus called the finger of God, I cast out devils by the finger of God. That is also his name. He's the finger of God. You know, the Holy Spirit should be your best friend, child of God. He loves you so, so, so much. And he wants to use you. You know, that's why you and me have grieved him several times. But he has never left. He's just grieved, but he has never left. Because he loves you. And uh, he makes you to be supernatural, to be spiritual. Without him, you are a mere human being. Without him, you are not a god. Without him, you cannot enter the spiritual space. Demons fear the person of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> because you know, demons are called ghosts. He's also called a ghost, but a holy one. Amen. He's a holy one. Hallelujah. A powerful one. Oh my God. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Okay. People of God, we need to honor God. And uh, we need to honor him with our substance. There's nothing that we can give to God, but we can honor him with our substances. You know, God is, I mean, he doesn't need anything from us. But when you come before the presence of a king, uh, in, you know, in my country, we had the kingdom structure. You don't go in the presence of a king empty-handed, you know. Uh, you, you have to honor the king, and we have to honor him. What the Lord is doing for us some of us are getting healed of depression and all these kind of things that just going to see a professional counselor, one visit would cost you a lot of money. But the anointing of the Holy Ghost, he heals you free. So we have to honor him. You know? Thank you, Holy Spirit. So Father, we just want to thank you and bless you, Lord, for the wonderful time that we have had this morning bless your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God multiply them and increase them do a great work of miracles signs and wonders in their lives visit them Lord visit their finances visit their children visit their grandchildren watch over them and protect them Holy Spirit strengthen their inner man Give them the anointing to understand the word of God. To understand how to do business. Because you've said in the book of Isaiah, I'm the Lord your God that teaches thee how to profit. You don't teach us how to make losses. And let your people shine by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. People of God, I want you to know that we love you. We miss to see your faces. But we thank God that you can see us, you know, but we miss to see your faces. I think one of these days we're going to have a Zoom, a, Zoom, a Zoom meeting to see your faces, you know. Those of you are always joining, we want to see you. You know, this is a family. So God bless you and have a wonderful time. We're going to be meeting during the lunch hour service and it's going to be powerful.